All right, we got a game. I'm four wins away from a double promotion. Um, I need to actually like study some of these three, four Josekis because I've actually forgotten so many of them like throughout the years. I actually like this kind of Joseki. It's not really a Joseki, but sure. It's not really a Joseki. He doesn't really get much. This is actually like, I think this favors me by quite a bit, actually. Um, now I'm just going to do this on it here. The corner is pretty decent large. Okay, I actually like that move for him because that actually clears here for me. Um, don't have to answer that. I can just kind of have the Sente here, which is very, very nice. This is actually a pretty big move here, I think. I actually like how this is working out for me. I get the influence. He might actually invade the 3-3. No, he didn't invade the 3-3, I guess. I'm just going to take the corner here. Just take my freaking territory. Peep. Double down. Because that actually pr protects the cut right there. That I can just ignore. He still has this cut right here that I don't like. I just need to protect this actually. That could actually be pretty nasty. Alright, that's not... That's kind of a pointless move. I'm gonna fly up here just to protect this invasion down here. And if I can actually press him over, that's advantage to me. See if I can just uh, see what he does with his peep. It's not a bad move. Problem is, I totally forgot how to play this. But I think he completely played this wrong. Because now he's dead. Oh, no, he's not. But I completely broke his territory. Is he dead? I can't really see. Ah, uh, there's too many cuts there. There's a few too many cuts there for me to be comfortable. But I think I can do this. That's what I thought he'd do. Do I beat him here? I actually don't know if I do. I really don't know if I do or not. It's a hard move for me. I don't know if I beat him here or not. She should have calculated this better. Definitely should have calculated this better. I do have this cut here, though. Oh, wait a minute. He just he screwed up. He definitely screwed up. He should have cut here and killed me first because now I'm alive and he's dead. He definitely, he should have cut me here first. Yeah, he, he definitely screwed that up. No question about that. 
That was a mistake on his part. That probably cost him the game right there, because this area is not very thick over here. Like, this space is not very thick. There's all these cutting moves. I was actually going to cut here to see what he does. Because, like, there's a lot of cuts here. And since killing me is um, a gote move, I can actually cut here and cause a lot of problems. I didn't know if that was alive in there or not, but I think I could have done something uh, out here. Just like cut here, he would have to uh, cut here, he would have to Atari or something. That doesn't matter. That's actually bad because it actually like lessens his movement down here. If I cut here, he's not gonna do well. I can just haunt this. I think I can do this because if he peeps, I can just connect this way. Yeah, the thing is, if I do stuff like this, he still has to protect the cut. So it's not actually like, um, and I'm actually very flexible just to jump. So it's easy to, it's actually easy to destroy his territory. And this peep is still here for this play, so I'm just going to attach because I have enough to win, so I don't really need to do anything like uber special or anything. So make sure I don't screw that up because that corner gives me enough territory for the win fairly easily. But what if I do this? <laughs> I'm probably pressing my luck here. Definitely pressing my luck a bit here. Oh yeah. Now Yo Yomi now there. starts. All right, forget that. I'm just gonna do that. Plays that right at least. That's a good, that's actually a good move for me. That's probably too slow, but we'll see what he does. Ah, oh, dang it. He actually played that right. Oh, yeah, on this side. He's not going to kill that piece in the center, so I don't really care. That's useless. Because I can just extend here. He gets one point. Woohoo! Very well. I shall give him that point. It's fine. That is perfectly fine. I just have to maintain my lead right now, and my lead's pretty large, so I'm not worried at all about this. This is not going to work. There's not enough space down there for him to do anything. I think I'm doing this right. I'm not 100% sure. If I extend this down, I don't think he can do anything. Of course, if I just screwed this up, I just screwed this up, but I'm pretty sure I did this right. Yep, I did that right. I'm not gonna bother with that. I am just going to make sure I can win this. But this one, I will actually not let him grasp. 
So I'm going to curl up here. Connect. I can block. And that's a dumb move because if I do this, he can't connect. Yeah, that was all calculated out. That was all calculated out. But this corner basically lost him the game. If I take those two, it is actually a Sinte move for me to connect. So if he does this, I'm just going to take those two. He has to do that, so I'll just kill this uh, one stone. Got to calculate these things out. And this group's not quite alive yet, but it's pretty much alive. I think it's about time I, uh, he resigns. Yep, I win. So, that game was basically lost in the corner. And um, that game was actually lost in the corner. And here's, this is what I mean. Um, this is like kind of like basic fighting. So, this is actually a mistake that people make. They, this is a mistake that people actually make. Um, I mean, this is fine, but like when I do this, he extends and I jump out here. I mean, I guess that's okay because I could disconnect this. But if you're going to do that, then like playing this is a mistake because this traded with this. If, if you like, uh, if you do this and you trade with this, that's actually good for me, especially if it's Gote for you. And obviously like me doing this, that does become kind of... Like, I think he should have just, like, he should have just went here and extended out and cut my two groups and then connected back so he could sort of attack my middle, although it's not a great position for him. That was a mistake because that makes me stronger over here and makes me a lot harder to kill. He doesn't really gain too much from this. And then, like, you know, he gets, he cuts this. But what is this? This is, like, two points, so it doesn't really matter. So, like, um, he shouldn't have actually, I don't think he should have actually come out here. I mean, he would have been much better off just playing something like this or like, you know, just taking a sente from here. But because playing this and exchanging, I don't think that's a very good move. That's not a very good move. And this is actually pretty, this is pretty light. So you could just give this up and play this instead because that actually, I think, is a pretty big move right now. And then obviously the rest of these trades are just bad for him because like I guess he thought I would connect this, but... There's absolutely no reason I would actually connect this. I don't really care about these three stones in here. And plus, even if I connect it, like it's not disconnected yet, and he can actually do a lot of other stuff. And if he can, if he connects here, it's not good for me because this shape is definitely not that great. And he still has a sente move like right there. So doing, if he does this, I would never connect this. That's too slow of a move, and it just is a really bad shape. So like that, obviously, like trading these two for these two is obviously to my advantage because he doesn't really gain much besides two points there. And now my shape's a lot harder to deal with. And obviously, like, that's just a bad move. I mean, that's that's lack of calculation. It's too tight. It's it's way too tight. And even if I did if even if I did this, you the most you could do is like go up and then I would like use a tiger's mouth. And basically I would use the tiger's mouth and basically have this territory down here. You destroy a couple points. But, you know, if you calculated this out right, um, even if I connected, you couldn't extend down because I would just go over. And there's not that many points down here, so it's not that much use doing this. And obviously, like, if I cover, you're basically just dead at this point. So you disconnect, but this is one of those moves that maybe lower-ranked players don't see. You don't have to head, you don't have to head on, but even if you do, like, he probably loses because you can head on. He extends down here, and then you can just go here. And he wouldn't have he would not have enough uh, liberties to actually beat you. Uh, so then, like of course this and that, and then you just go down. Now, if he actually Atari's, you would block. He would have to take, and then you would Atari and beat him. At this point, I think uh, doing that. Now, if you do if you do the other side, I think there's a chance for him to win. Actually, if you do the other side, I think he's still down by one liberty. I'm not sure. I think he's still down by one liberty. But obviously, like, I'm just going to do this because it's a surefire win. Because he's he's obviously down by one liberty. Of course, block. That's not a great move because you're basically just losing more points. Uh, cut. He has three. I have two. 
I don't think he can kill this piece up here. It's too bouncy for him. So I would just like, you know, connect and make sure I get the win. Of course, I curl out and obviously he makes a mistake here. Um, yeah, you block and um, you can't cut, obviously. But, you know, in, the, in that situation, I mean, there's not much you can do from here on out. You shouldn't really do that. This shape is really bad. So let's actually go back to the corner over here. And he definitely made a miscalculation here um, because I wasn't sure. I really wasn't sure if I, I could actually beat him on the co. Because at this point, at, when I played this, um, he should have done this. He should have easily done this. And then I would have to connect. He would take the corner. I would take the stone and then he would destroy my eye. Now, I would probably peep here and then destroy his eye. And I'm not really, I think I have an advantage in terms of liberties on the co, but it would be a co. Uh, but I would actually have a disconnect move here. And I would actually do this first um, and then ha have him curl out. And then like I would try to kill these two stones up here uh, instead. So before I actually moved on down here, because I do think this is actually a co situation over here. Um, eventually like to see who actually wins this fight but i would actually use the cuts here i definitely i would definitely use the cuts here to my advantage so yeah or i could probably try to attach out but that would probably be pretty bad um but i would probably just cut here and see what he does he would probably atari out i would i would extend uh, definitely and then he would have to protect this i would probably uh I, I would probably have to um, just curl and see if I can kill him because he has limited amount of liberties here and I'm not really sure if he could actually live. But there is some problems down here as well because this isn't complete. So I don't know how that would have turned out. I think I'm ahead by one here because he would cut. I would I, I would take. He Hane's here. I would take. And then he either does, if he does that, yeah, if he does that, it's like really, really troublesome. Um, yeah, that would be a co, it would be favoring me, but it would be a co-threat and he would have to find a co-threat, probably something like right here where I probably wouldn't answer. And I would just like, uh, take this piece, but then he might be able to capture these two stones depending on his fighting strength. So that's what he should have done. Obviously, uh, this is the right play. Obviously, if he does here, if he does this, I just live. And now he's basically lost the game because this is not only, this is not only a, um, death for him. It, this is a gote for him as well. This is a gote death for him. So like he has to actually, that's actually a bad move because um, now this cut, if he doesn't answer, this cut's actually more severe than before. That, so that's, I don't think that's a good move. Um, that doesn't do anything. That just makes me a little stronger here. Uh, Hane is here. I Hane back. And uh, then, you know, I do this. And now you can see like the severity of this cut. He has to answer this way. And I just jump up and now it's very hard to kill. He might, I think since this is actually pretty connected now and obviously like, you know, this is a small ladder, he sh he might have been able to just to peep here and then use the knight's move out. That's that's actually what I would have done. I would have peeped here and then use the knight's move out to attack these two stones. Your, sh your shape here is not great because I can do this and destroy the eye. But it's going to be stronger. I think it's going to be stronger than mine. I'm not sure. I would have peeped and either like come overhead and forced uh, my group this way or done the knight's move after peeping and attack this way. Because you have some thickness over here, even though it's not great. Um, and if you don't use it, it's to your disadvantage. Like that's not, to me, that's not strong enough of a move. Because I can always just attach. And the thing is like, you know, like if I wasn't greedy, now th this is pretty much, this group is pretty much safe now. If I wasn't greedy, I could have just like jumped home, given him the territory, but I would have already won because I already, I, I would have, uh, you know, I, I would have gotten this. And technically that's probably what I should have done. So yeah. So like in a, situ in a situation where you're losing the game, um, you ha like, if you play this out and you let me connect without getting anything significant, you're going to lose the game. You're, you're behind by too much once you mess this up. So you have to take risks now. You would peep and then knights move and see if you can kill those two stones. So that's generally the only way you're going to win at this point. So that's actually what I would do. That's just like, that's just skill at assessing what's actually going on. That's basically skill at assessing the situation and playing to the situation. Is it an optimal play? Maybe, maybe not. 
But, you know, the thing is, it doesn't matter if you lose by 10 points, 100 points, or like 50 points. It really doesn't matter. Like, Go has a binary result. You either win or you lose. So if you're going to lose by, you know, for sure by about 30 points anyways here, you might as well just take the result. And you might lose by 60 points, or you might actually come back and win. But if you don't do this, if you do what he does, you have like a 100% chance of losing. If you do this and you fight, you might only have a 70% chance of losing. So you basically upgraded by adding 30% to your winning percentage. You got to kind of think like that. Yeah, so obviously the corner is where the battle was lost. I might have done some miscalculations, but I think I was, I think I had like at least the initiative on him uh, for the co. And there wasn't any huge co threats here. I mean, there was this probably, but I could probably still live in the corner. So I would have probably just taken the corner anyways. Yep. So that's where the game was won and lost. This was probably not a great move. Um, doing that. I mean, like, once that opened up, this actually opened up as well. But what if, if he had just, like, honestly, if he had just connected and let me live, that might have been actually a little bit better. Or, like, even at this point, um, you know, before the Hane, just kind of, like, do this. I would have been able to live in the corner. But I don't know if he could prevent me from living in the corner. Or even, like, here... You do the extra Hane, and then you do the Ko. I mean, because that would be a very heavy, that would actually be a very heavy Ko for me. And it, it, would be, it wouldn't be quite as heavy for him, because these aren't worth that many points. So that might have been the optimal play here once he got in this situation. Because you're not really sure if you can win that battle if you let me push. So here, the optimal play might have actually just been to um, Hane here in the corner. And force me to co. Because you have quite a couple. They ha, they ha, he has quite a few co's that would actually be worth. Um, that actually would actually be quite threatening. And I'm not really sure how many I have. So the co might have been actually the move there. Because I can't just push right now. If I push right now, I'm going to die. Those two stones are going to die. So I have to look for a sente co. And I can't push right now. Because if I push right now, that makes this solid. So if I Hane, he's just going to Hane, and then I'm not going to have enough liberty. So I have to Hane first. The sequence is important. You have to push and then Hane first. Um, and then he might have actually just been able to connect. And when I actually hane here, he could have actually just played the Ko as well here. And I would actually probably have to play the Ko. And even if he loses the Ko here, it's not that heavy for him. So connect. So th that might have actually been the move. Connect first. And if I, if I Atari here, Ko, or like if I could just extend down in the corner, he might be able to extend down. The, yeah, I wouldn't be able to, I don't think, I don't know if I would be able to live if I just extend down in the corner. So I would actually have to Atari, and then you could, he could just do the Ko. And this Ko would be pretty light for him, but pretty heavy for me. So that would have been the best move. Like, do this, connect on top, um, let me Atari, and then immediately play the Ko. So that was the variation, that variation uh, was like, you know, fighting skill. Here, I think he made a mistake too. Not so much playing this move. That move was fine. Um, might be like a little bit overextension, but I peeped here uh, because after he connects, I can do this. And if he extends this way, now I can actually uh, Hane here without fearing this cut. If I didn't do this first and I did this and he extended this way, I couldn't really, it'd be hard for me to Hane here because he has this cut. But now this peep fixes the cut. So I have like a solution to this. Obviously, I can Hane here. And I'm going to connect because this one isn't a ladder that favors me. So I don't think this move is necessary because there's no urgency on that move. I would have actually just jumped out. I think jumping out is a much, much better move. A jump, actually, no. You, know, you either jump out, which is probably the best move, because if, if he jumped out, I would have just like finished this territory down here. But then I, I, if I was playing white, I would have just taken Sente. And I would have actually fixed one of these corners or connected this and gotten the bottom territory. And I think, like, at that point, the game would actually be pretty even. Um, but since he did this and I was able to do this and then he did this and I was able to go over. And once he did this, like, I'm not going to answer that. You just gave me Sente for, like, four points, essentially. I mean, it does make your shape stronger, but I don't think I would have been able to kill this anyways. And so giving me that Sente is huge. This move is pretty big, but it's not really worth it. I could have extended and see if he actually connected. Uh, but 
you know, I would have just taken Sente and attack down here to get some of that uh, territory. So this exchange definitely favors this exchange. Um, and that move just wasn't necessary at all. I don't think that move was necessary because there's nothing I can do there. I can do, if I do this, he could just retreat. Like instead of that move, instead of that move, he should have played where I played. So those are the mi mistakes he made. And that's how I slowly gained an advantage in this game. I mean, there was obviously the big mistake in the corner over there, but that's just lack of calculation. But, you know, like you gotta, ha you have to kind of like um, figure like, you have to try to like fight for centes like in this point of the game because being able to fix a corner here or connect the bottom piece here would be really, really massive um, for uh, for um, white at this point. And also like here, you could have just blocked this. You could try to block this way as well um, and take the corner and see much what I can do. But I don't think that's a good that's a good option. He didn't do too bad here until like the last move. So that's kind of the variations I explain and the difference between our fighting strength right now and uh, what he actually should have done and how he gave me an advantage. So hope you enjoyed this episode. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.